Hi there, Adam Bazaljet here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today, how to hit low and high trajectory iron shots and do it with control. Hopefully it'll be helpful. So that was a fairly low punch eight iron, just moderate. Let's start with the low ones first. First thing is if you have got, say, a back pin, you might want to bring the ball in a little bit lower, get a little bit of release on the ball. Maybe you're just against a pretty strong headwind on an iron shot. Another time to take it in fairly low. In those instances, what I would simply do is I would play the ball a little back. We're going to be careful not to do that too much. I'll show you that in just a moment here. But I would play the ball back slightly and I would take a less lofted or a longer club and just simply smooth, swing smoother. When you have less loft, certainly it's going to go lower. You could play the ball back. It's going to help when you don't swing as hard the ball doesn't spin as much or get up in the air. That's the way I'd go about that shot. Again, drills at the end of this video, but maybe you have to go under something, tree limb or something, you don't want the ball to run out. You don't have a headwind to hold it up. Now you just have to hit it lower, but still get a little bit of spin on it. Let's have a close up look at how that would look at impact. So here's what I want you to do. You may not have an alignment rod, but this will just at least help accentuate the visual of it. Tilt the face down. It's going to point more towards your lead shoe. Then simply push your hips and hands forward a little bit till the pointer or the club face is aiming straight. That duplicates what you want to feel at impact. Now, when you go to hit this thing, don't play it excessively far back. You'll start to strike down too much on the ball and get into consistent contact. So just a little bit back, face tilted, hands and hips forward, you'll start to get the sense of it. So let's try one here. Let's play the ball back a little bit. Just going to make a mid-size backswing and drive the thing out there. Now, what is this we hear about Hey, low finish for low shots. Does the ball really know where you finish? Absolutely, it does not. But if you're driving the hands forward, using your lower body to help you do that, and really trying to keep the loft off the shot, it speaks to a much firmer, shorter finish. That helps program that in. Conversely, as we'll see in just a moment, a higher finish speaks to more loft through impact. Let's tackle the high one. So we're going to play the ball a little bit more forward. This depends somewhat on the lie, how much cushion you have, and your skill level. If you're a high handicap player and you play the ball here on the fairway, you're probably going to catch a lot of thin shots. So dial it up as much as you can, but we don't want excessive scooping. We want solid impact. We just want less shaft lean as we hit the shot. And remember, if you're trying to hit the ball high, it's the opposite of that extra club. Swing smoothly low one, swing nice and hard. You'll get the ball up in the air more. So drills for both these shots coming right up, but let's touch on how am I going to avoid scooping and miss hitting but still get height. Well, certainly, as we just said, we could play the ball a little bit forward. But secondly, if I create a little bit more side bend through the shot, I can shift my weight forward, but more side bend effectively, I can still have a good strong impact alignment, but add loft. Let me show you a close up in slow motion of both the low and the high ones, and you'll get a sense of it's a fairly subtle difference, but it's a sizable difference in impact. Loft. So here's the low shot on the left. You can see the ball is a little bit farther back than it is on the right. And what I really want you to see here is the differences aren't drastic, but as I'll show you with degrees at impact, the difference it makes is significant. So down I come, shift the weight, tilting the glove and the face down. There's impact on that one. Here's the high shot. Still shifting the weight, but you'll notice the upper body is tilting back a little bit more. Again, not a drastic difference, although you can see the combination of that tilt and the ball position have made, let's check it here. Oh, if we call that three degrees of forward lean, and this may be 12 degrees of forward lean, that's nine degrees or so at impact, which is at least two clubs of loft and will make a huge amount of difference in your trajectory. If you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel, bring you lots of free content, we hope, or just give us a like or even share it with friends. We'd appreciate that. But you can see subtle differences will make a large trajectory difference. So before we put that drill into practice here momentarily, a couple quick things. Don't unempower yourself. I give golf lessons for a living, have for decades. People think, oh, I couldn't do that. Only the pros can lean the club. That isn't true. Get it on a small scale. You can do that just as well as I can. You can shift your weight a little bit. Get it on a small scale, then start to build it up and have some confidence in your ability to make these adjustments. The second thing, when you start playing the ball back and leaning the shaft more, particularly as you tilt the face, you are adding downward hit. That leaning shaft is, makes the club head go down, so don't hit down too much. You should feel very level through the ball with your hands, the downward hit coming purely from the shaft leaning forward. So let's see here, there's our tilt down, there's our forward push of the hips and hands. Couple of little swings to feel that. Now I'm just going to 
duplicate that, caught that a little thin, but it's nice and low, and just mix up and down the scales, overdo it, add some speed, go back to some small ones and you'll start to sort it out. Let's try one more there. That was a nice crisp one there. I really felt the face tilt forward and I had enough forward lean in my hips and hands not to hit it low left. Now for the high ones. Here's what I'm going to suggest you do. Take a tee, tee it up a little bit higher than you would on a par three. And again, the best way to find the right way to do these things is to overdo them a bit. So play the ball well forward and try to pick one off the tee here without excessively scooping it. I hit a little behind that, but I could really sense the lift of the golf ball. Get several like that, then put the ball on the ground, dial it back a little bit, find that ball position and that amount of tilt that you can work with that you feel like will help you do it. Let's try one more here. Balls forward, a little more upward hit, finish even though it's not a full one little bit higher up there. I can feel some tilt in my body. These things build skill. As I showed you in the slow motion video comparing the two impacts, we're not in at the end of the day looking for a drastic, drastic difference. It's a moderate difference, but just seven, eight, nine degrees of shaft lean will make all the difference in your trajectory control. You'll be a better, more skilled player. You'll have more fun going for different pins and different shots. Hope this helps you.